I don't have time to do it all. Why can't I figure this out? Hmm, why is my house such a mess? I just can't keep that caught up. Once I can just figure out how to get balance in my life, it can all get done. Oh, why am I so stupid? I totally forgot to do that. Are these things that you are saying to yourselves? If so, <laughs> I want to change that for you. Because one of the biggest misconceptions we are told as women, as moms, as entrepreneurs is that we can have perfect work-life balance. If we just work hard enough at it, get our time management down to a T and all of the ins and outs of it. So that way we are just floating along in this perfect life balance. Well, I'm Martha Brown, and I am here to tell you that that just is not true, right? There is no perfect balance. There's no perfect balance to life. There's always things coming at us from different directions. We could have everything planned out perfectly to the best of our ability, and there still could be something that comes along. Now, this is not me telling you not to plan. I plan. I plan every week. I figure out what my priorities are. Make sure those happen. Have my calendar. However, what I'm telling you is trying to make sure that everything is balanced perfectly. I'm doing work 25%, 25% spending time with my kids, 25%, spending time with my husband, 25%, and time for myself, 25%, which in that time for myself also includes cleaning the house, taking care of the yard, running the errands, getting the groceries, cooking the meals, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Doesn't leave much time for you, does it? <laughs> I try to make it into a mathematical equation of perfect and perfection of balance. It doesn't add up because there is not a day where I am evenly doing that or a week. There are some days where my kids, one kid, all three kids need me more. And I need to make sure I have a little bit more focus there. There are days where I have more clients built into my schedule or where I have a big project coming up. Right now I'm doing a big project. And so it does take me more time. I'm working more in the evening. I have more going on. And so work is taking more of my hours. There's times where my health isn't great. And so I'm focusing on that too. So I have to, you know, it's figuring out what that is. And the biggest lie that we are told, the biggest misconception that we get into our heads is that if we just do this, then we will have perfect balance in our life. And if we weren't stupid enough to not figure this out, then we could have perfect balance in our life. If we were just better at time management, we could have perfect balance in our life. And again, not to, I'm going to just say it again, it can't happen. We have to live our life in the ebbs and flows of where we're needed, what needs done, and where our priorities are. And that is, is what I want you to know is it's okay to realize that you have priorities. It's okay that your house is not perfectly clean all the time. It's okay to make mistakes. We are the ones who beat ourselves up the most, not anybody else. I know if you are like me, you're out there giving grace to everybody else about mistakes that they make. But when it comes to yourself, and you do something that you don't think you should have done, or you made a mistake with something, you are telling yourself how stupid you are. How could you do that? What were you thinking? All of those things. So that all happens because we have this misconception that we need to be perfect and we need to have this perfect work-life balance. Otherwise, we are too stupid to figure it out. You are not. You are a smart, strong, powerful woman.
who has a lot going on and you are doing an amazing job at all of it. But listen to me. First and foremost, you are you. Everything else we do, all the people in our lives, all of it are roles we play, people we love, and all of it. If you don't do something for you on a daily basis, whether it is get sleep, make sure you're washing your face at night, brushing your teeth, um, taking a little bit of quiet time for you, throwing on some loud music, getting a little bit of dancing in. If you don't take just some time for you on a day-to-day basis, you are on a road to burnout. You are on a road where you feel more stress than you can believe. And you probably already are there. And then add on to it, the fact that you're probably white knuckling the process to try to have that perfect balance in your life. Because once you do that, everything will be great. Well, that's like waiting for the other shoe to drop. Waiting and missing out on all the fun and amazing opportunities because you're just waiting for the perfect time, for the perfect balance. And it doesn't exist. Start living your life now. Give yourself grace in those moments that you mess up and realize life is that ebb and flow. It's okay to spend more time doing work and these moments. It's okay to spend time with your kids. It's okay to turn off your phone and not have to worry about that and go play and have fun. It's okay to have date nights with your significant other. Give yourself permission to do that without feeling like you have to keep it balanced. And otherwise, at the end of the week, you're going to be like, let's see, did I give 10% to this and 10% to this? And how about this? Because if you start evaluating all of that, then you're going to make yourself crazy. So I want to invite you to download my free tips on taking care of you so way that way you can take care of all the other things because if you aren't you are burning out I know you are I've been there and I it's easy to get back on that track constantly feeling that tug of war trying to make everything perfectly balanced which doesn't exist nothing is perfect you are amazing. You are smart. You are strong. So I want to invite you to go to lifebalancetips.com. When you get there, you'll see there's some great things there for you to do to help you get through those ebbs and flows, right? To get through those times. And then I also want to invite you to subscribe here so I can give you more tips, more ideas, more things to help you through those moments as an entrepreneur, as a mom, as a woman, so that way you can keep showing up the magnificent, incredible person that you are. So have a great day and I will see you later.